Overwatch has had tons of maps inspired by real places from around the world. And one of my favorite Overwatch maps is Hanamura, which is based off of Japan. But with the release of Overwatch 2 meant that Hanamura was no longer in regular map rotation. And because I missed this map so much, I decided to pack my bags, take a flight all the way to Japan, and visit Hanamura in real life. Good morning from Japan. I didn't even learn good morning in Japanese because it feels weird to have a Japanese log and not speak any Japanese. Anyway, we are currently in Tokyo on a mission today to find Hanamura from Overwatch in real life. But we're also gonna be doing other parts of Hanamura like, well, Oh, hello. So for visiting Hanamura, a big part of it is the spawn room where you can just like smash the claw machines in the arcades. We have to visit all the claw machines here in Tokyo, which is about at least like four. So we have a 3,000 yen challenge between Chris and I. Whoever gets the most amount of plushes by the other one, a bowl of ramen from Ichiran. I didn't tell her that part, but it's just because I'm really hungry right now. Now, even though this spawn room doesn't have Pachamaris, which I'm actually thoroughly disappointed, they got the second best thing, like a minion. I was recording my intro. What do you want to do first? Let me do my money spread. That's What's the money spread? <laughs> Let me scope out what I want. I saw a chick here when Pichu. Let's start with one of my favorite Pokemon, Raichu. The first in a journey of many. All right, no worker. Just like new boxes, we get a legendary skin. No looker. No looker. No looker. <laughs> oh my god. No, no way. I hate you. <laughs> this one's big. No pause. Come on, Mr. Snorlax. I'll feed you all the apples. Oh. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> With a big giant head. Yes, that's it. Don't slip, don't slip. Hey, it's me, Goku! Come on, rub the screen. Good luck. Oh. No way! This is actually so cute. Winner was POV, and we still got hella so coin you still, left. You want to give that, some of that to me? Oh boy. Mouth wide open. I'm a natural now. I know the secret technique. Fight a lot. <laughs> Anya's about to commit to me. Okay, Anya, come to me. Armin Sakura. I got the anime wrong. Come on, please. Please. This it. This it. This it. Are you kidding me? I got Sakura! I don't know what to say. Winner's POV, dog. Good to know it's not rigged. <laughs> Coming out of the spawn room in Hanamura, you know, just casually winning. Just how we do it. But after the first spawn room in Hanamura, you'll come across a little ramen shop called Rikimaru. And you can't go to Japan without eating the ramen there. So that's exactly what we did. We ate a whole bunch of ramen. Ichiran ramen, and this is the specialty that Genji makes at home, if you see my chef you act. Look at these thinly sliced pork. I'm gonna just dip that in right away. Itadakimasu. Mm, not better than my Genji ramen, though. And you can slurp. Without feeling bad, that's so hot. We got seaweed of Mount Rushmore, but in Japan. But more importantly, we got Ichiraku ramen. All right, Naruto, let's see what you made at the pervy stage spend hundreds of dollars on. Iridakimasu. I don't know if this is better than Genji ramen. I've never won to wait for a restaurant, and it wasn't by choice, but we're at this ramen shop, and we legit waited like an 
like an hour and a half. So this better be the best ramen that I've ever had in my whole life. Here she is. It actually came out fairly quickly. All right, Genji, let's see if your ramen's still the best. All right, All right itadakimasu. I mean, like, let's try the pork. Hold on. Mm. Uh, man, that was mid. <laughs> so I don't know what the next scene is gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be the next day. Who knows? But I will see you in about two seconds. Welcome everybody to Hanamura. Even though this isn't like the iconic Hanamura Bell, this is basically where it's inspired from. This gigantic temple with this giant, well in this case a lantern, or in Hanamura's case a bell, is where you go and capture A. So we just came from there, but then we found another Hanamura temple right here, and then there's another one down there. How many point A's are there? Th this is it. This is Hanamura. We finally made it. There is the other tower where like widows and cheesing bastions like to stand on. If you ever see Kuriko get another email of her eating, it's probably gonna be one of these strawberries. It's candy. It's like a glass strawberry. It's literally just that. It's like I'm eating juicy glass. It's pretty though. Dap me up. Dap me up. Dap me up. Hey, you owe me 500 yen. Don't think I forgot. It's the pigeons from New York. They traveled all the way here to Hanamura. Now we're just gonna quickly capture the objective and wait a couple of seconds. I think we're good. On to the next part of Hanamura. Now you might be asking yourself, well, aren't you gonna get to point B by walking through a meadow of cherry blossoms? And you'd think, but we were too late for cherry blossom season by literally a week. But we are gonna be getting to a point B with something pink related. See, off in the distance on Hanamura, there's something called the bullet train, or in Japan, it's called the Shikansen. So how about we get to point B by riding a pink Hello Kitty bullet train? Made it to the Hello Kitty Shikansen, traveling in style. As you travel literally at the speed of light, you can travel in cute kitty fashion. I find it funny how the smoky room is branded for Hello Kitty. She still likes to light it up. But, this is our stop, so bye-bye, Hello Kitty. You did a good job. You only almost crashed twice. And that's our stop. <laughs> I'm gonna race the Shikansen. Hello Kitty, I'm a good fan. I didn't even have your shoes. I didn't even really plan for that. Bye, Hello Kitty Shikansen. Now Hello Kitty's gonna go super fast. Oh, what if I just... <laughs> Off to bigger and better things. So while we went and captured point A on Hanamura, now we travel to Kyoto to go capture point B. A very long distance to go capture point B. No wonder most games end in draws. Everybody, welcome to point B, Hanamura. This is point B. This is the side where Symmetra's teleport. And you go and uh, you kill them because Symmetra's just that bad. So the story behind this building actually, which is uh, you know kind of fitting for Overwatch, is that people would actually jump off of that rooftop or that balcony. And if you lived, you either got like good fortune, good health, or something like that. But if you didn't live, well, I, I think you could put two and two together and, uh, you know. But uh, it's fitting for Overwatch because, well, Overwatch players, they kind of do the same thing. Not only in game, but also after six years of playing, you probably also meet the same fate of people that jump down there. And when I say that this is uh, a long way down, oh, it's a long way down. You can't even see the people that are down there. Jeff Kaplan laughing whenever I spend money on loot boxes. Just <laughs> there it is. 
there's Hanamura Point B. And also just for the vlog's sake, I also know that Hanamura didn't invent this building and whatnot, but I still thought it would be cool to go to the places that Overwatch maps were inspired from, which is this point right here. Well, that's Hanamura, do you know what these are? Technically, these are the streets of Kyoto, but they're also the streets of Kanazaka because Hanamura overlooks Kanazaka. And in a separate video, we're gonna be going to Kanazaka in real life, but we still have so much of Hanamura to explore. If you're wondering what's inside of point B on Hanamura, it's Okay, it's a little different than Hanzo's temple with the dragon blade where Hanzo and Genji fought, but it's still somewhat cool. Got it. Shoes? DeLorean in the middle of Hanamura. How cool is that? Something that you might not know because even my teammates don't know this during the day, but you can go and visit point A on Hanamura at any time during the day. It's open 24 seven. And best part, nobody's around to stop you. So hello, go capture it. But there's just something so peaceful about being in one of the most trafficated areas in Japan alone at night with literally nobody around. It's so cool, like look, nobody's here. I can finally go and just touch the lantern. Isn't it just so cool to have this whole place to yourself? And as we end the night where we started here in Hanamura at nighttime, I wanna thank you guys for supporting these vlogs because it literally allows me to travel to places like this. But until the next time, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Or I'll watch two videos to come and bye.